Good morning, welcome back to the Dango's Outdoors YouTube channel. If you're new around here, have a think about subscribing. Today you find me on a little pond, it's kind of like a natural pond, because if you've been following my fishing recently, you'll know I've really been struggling, and today I just want to come out and get some bites. I've got some maggots, I've got some worms, also got a pike rod, I'm going to put that out first, and then, yeah, get to town, sorting out a float rod as well. Thanks for tuning in today, let's hope we catch. <laughs> Here's my pike setup, fairly standard stuff, sliding float, sliding weight and about an 18 inch trace with a couple of trebles on the end there. Got that nice strong carp rod with 15 pound main line and yeah I'm just going to find out what the depth is with this one first because I've got a stop knot above everything then that will give me an idea of what to do with my float rod. Right, got the depth sorted, about 10 foot out there so I'm going to start with half a bluey the head end this time and present that well over depth just a bit further away from where I'm going to be fishing with my float rod. I don't want a pike on top of silverfish. Let's get started then. Got a bit of worm on to begin with. Gonna put this out there and then feed a bit of ground bait over the top. Well, as you saw, I've come up against a bit of a problem. The rig is, well, the water's too deep, so the rig is too long to cast with these overhead trees. So I'm gonna have to change this waggler rig to a slider rig. So what I've done is put a stop knot where the locking shot were, moved the locking shot down to where my little bulk is and now I've got the float sliding on the line so this should be a lot easier to cast now. I've got a bit of ground bait here, it's just a fish mill ground bait, a little bit of plain crumb, some small pellets and some dead maggots spread through it. I'm going to put just a few balls out around the float and I'll get a little bit of feed down. That went pretty well. First fish of the day I think. That's a lovely roach. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Feels good to get some slime on the hands. <laughs> you know what I mean. This is a much better fish. Oh, lovely perch. Can I still swing it? Now that is fantastic. Now this little guy really brings back memories. It's one of the first ponds I ever fished. And yeah, loads of quality fish like this. Oh, he's doing it. There we are. The spins are so red, really clear water. Gorgeous little guy. <laughs> Wish I brought a keep net now. <laughs> That's two fish really quickly. A swap to maggots and we're catching. Beautiful. Oh, he's lovely. Little bite developing here. <laughs> what have we got? Ah. Another nice roach. <laughs> Little silver. The swim is bubbling like a cauldron now. So I've put a worm down there, because that must mean there's bigger fish. Oh. 
here's a better fish. Half a worm this time. Oh. Yes. Another nice perch. Brilliant little guy. So happy to be catching these. different species this time. This is a bleak. That's actually quite a big bleak as well. And uh, he's lucky I've got some dead baits with me because that's prime live bait right there. More nice roach, lovely little guy. Here's one. Oh. Yeah. Slightly better roach. Swap back to the worm bought that. Now this is something better. Another lovely perch. It seems like I get roach on maggots, then I put on a worm and I get a slightly bigger perch. Have to wait a bit longer, but these guys are out there. Wonderful. For sure. Let's see. Oh, another nice perch. Going down. I really should be netting these. you around. There it is. Just a gorgeous little guy or girl. I don't really know how you tell with perch. But yeah, such good fun to be catching them. Little bit of worm. That's the one for perch. Oh. <laughs> that was annoying. <laughs> More roach. We've been fishing for a fair few hours now and we've caught quite a few nice fish but nothing really big yet and uh, I really want one nice bonus fish, that'd be lovely. But what I thought I'd do is just take a minute out of the fishing just to show you what I'm doing with my rig and how I'm hooking the hook baits. So the hook I'm using is a size 14 and the baits I'm using are worms and maggots. The way I hook my worms is sort of similar to how you'd hook a maggot. I'll just go in the top and perhaps hook a little bit more than you would on a maggot. But yeah, just like that. And then nip the tail off to let some more juices out. 
And that is a really good bait. That'll catch bream, tench, perch, roach, all sorts. But today, I've been finding that that's a little bit too big. So I've just been cutting a worm in half, and that has been a really good bait. That's been catching me all my nice perch. As for maggots, you might be thinking, well, I know how to hook a maggot. <laughs> But that size 14 is a little bit too big for just putting like a single or a double maggot on. So the way I get around that is the first maggot I actually thread onto the hook. So we go in the top, push the hook all the way through and go out somewhere near the tail of the maggot and push the maggot up to the eye. So now all the hook is hidden inside that maggot. And then I can just add another one on just the normal way, hooking it through the top. And that is a lovely little bait. And that's been catching me all my roach today. It's a little bit different to the normal way that people hook maggots. And it, you can use quite a big hook like that. So if I do now hook a bigger fish, I've got the security. And yeah, that's been working well so far. I think now it's about halfway through the day, I'm gonna refeed the spot with some ground bait and hopefully bring in some bigger fish. I'm just going to see if I can get this bucket. <laughs> Got it. Done my bit, plus free bucket for the shed. Get in. <laughs> That's a bleak. And since I'm not catching a pike, man, these things are in danger at the moment. This one feels a bit nicer. Oh no! Oh, I think that was a small bream. It's been a while since we've had one on, so this feels great. What have we got? Nice roach. Can we swing it? Ah, uh, yep. Yes, come on. Oh, I think this is more of a roach rud hybrid, a bit deeper in the body, and its lip goes slightly upwards. So, yeah, I'm thinking this has got a bit of rud in him, but not quite 100%. And now I have caught the stereotypical plastic bag. Lovely. Well, it's all gone a little bit quiet here. Not a lot happening on the float, rather than the pike rod's done nothing. But I've seen lots of pike strikes. So I'm just gonna wobble a smelt around the swim for 15, 20 minutes, cover the water, and just see if I can pick something up. There's quite a few jacks going at it. So yeah, maybe I'll catch. So I covered the whole swim with a wobbled bait, but nothing happened. It's gonna put the float on and stick a dead bait back out there. Fish. Ooh. Beautiful little roach. It's taken a while to get him going on a float line again, but I think they're there now. Uh, you picked a good day for it. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Exactly. Yeah. What kind of fish can you find in 
Um, well, so far I've had a few roach, a few perch. Yeah, yeah but there's some nice pike and bream and things in here as well. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Nice. Here we go, mate. Yeah, have a good day. Well, that was nice. It would have been far too easy to get annoyed with someone driving a kayak into your swim, but what are we going to do about it? We're both allowed to be here, so much easier to have a nice little chat and both enjoy our day. I think that might be the best roach of the day. Lovely little guy, scale perfect. Considering all the pike and predators in here, he's doing well that one. Great red fins on it. Yeah, perfect little fish. Acrobatic roach. What I got here? Come on. Oh, roach. <laughs> Just going to try for another bucket. Yes. Okay, number two, disgusting. There we are, lovely little roach like we all have been today. But I think this is gonna be my last fish of the day. Well, I'm gonna call it a day there. I didn't get the uh, the bonus pike or big bream or something that I wanted, but you know, I had a really good day. I caught four or five nice sized perch, uh, a handful of good roach, and a load of uh, bleak and rudd and things thrown in, as well as, Two buckets, brilliant. <laughs> so I've gone away with a profit. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. It has been a bit of a struggle, but it's reminded me of why I go fishing. Recently I've been blanking a lot and just to come here and watch a float go under, and I don't often fish a sliding float, so that was fun as well. Yeah, cheers guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>